Hi, I'm HP, and this is a review of a 2016 Warped Tour band. Sleeping with Sirens is one of the bands with the biggest fan base on Warp Tour this year, which actually kind of surprised me because they haven't been around as long to gain that kind of success as some of these other bands have. Bands like Yellow Card and Mayday Parade have been on Warp Tour several times and with their radio play and things like that I really would have assumed that they'd have a bigger following but Sleeping With Sirens was really at the top of the list as far as Twitter followers go. That doesn't mean that that directly reflects on their amount of fans because I assume some Yellow Card fans are definitely going to be older than Sleeping With Sirens fans and maybe not so into social media and specifically not all that into Twitter. In the genre box in Facebook they have epic which I can't exactly argue with they do something that several other rock bands do which is touch on different subgenres and I think that's a wonderful thing to do their sound isn't always exactly the same and it's not glued to one specific subgenre in their music I hear a little bit of alternative and a little bit of pop punk and a little bit of post hardcore and a little bit of just plain epicness as far as feelings that I get from this music, it really depends on which song I'm listening to. This band has a lot of upbeat songs. They have a lot of aggressive songs. They also have some songs on a few serious topics, such as Suicide, which they executed really gracefully. But just an example of feelings for the music from this band. If I'm listening to Go Go Go, it really reminds me of like daytime driving in summer and sun and new love and just happiness. They actually have captured the attention of what I like to call the golden demographic, which is preteen to young adult females. And not to say that anyone else of any age or gender couldn't love this band or don't love this band because I think they're really relatable to anyone, but they have really captured the attention of this demographic. Because of that, it's a really good crowd to be a part of when you see them live. And they are also a good live band, so I'm pretty sure that they had the largest crowd at Nashville Warped Tour. I've never really been a fan of high-pitched vocals, but the band that did make me realize that I could enjoy that was Picturesque. And I noticed on Picturesque's videos, before I ever listened to Sleeping With Sirens, that a lot of people would comment, oh, he sounds like Kellen Quinn. And so I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I could enjoy Sleeping With Sirens. And then there's this other factor. I really love Too Close to Touch. They're one of my favorite bands. And Kellen is on a song called The Chase on their Nerve Endings album. So that's actually where I heard his voice for the first time. To be honest, it's not the best song to hear him first on. He sounds good, but it's, he's not really in his element. I think he's, he's a lot more suited in his band and that Sleeping the Sirens as a package is a really good sounding band. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like my face and you wanna see more of it, hit the subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, I do underground music reviews. Um, obviously also doing work tour reviews and coming up very soon Lollapalooza band reviews. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.